All right. So you are a CCNA, huh? It will expire soon, you know. Maybe after a year or two. How would you recertify it? Well, you can take another associate level certifications like DevNet or CyberOps. But it's better to go for Cisco Certified Network Professional or CCNP. The question is, which is the best CCNP track? We have five. And we have so many exam options. We only need two to be a CCNP. In this video, we're gonna talk about the best CCNP exam combinations from a multi-award winning Cisco certified instructor, which is me. And for those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I'm your software defined IT instructor. And what is my qualification doing this video again? I have delivered over 40 Cisco official training courses, won multiple Cisco Excellence Awards, and the highly respected Cisco Distinguished Instructor Award. On this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, three bench tutorials in cybersecurity, three bench tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. This is the Cisco Professional Certification page, and we'll be focusing on CCNPs. So let's skip Cyber Ops and DevNet Professionals. So we have five different tracks, Enterprise, Data Center, Security, Service Provider, and Collaboration. If I click one of these, look, we have many exam options, but we only need two, one core exam and one concentration. The question again is, what are the best exam combinations? I will pick the seven best pair based on my experience in training, certification, consulting, IT recruitment business, and as an IT instructor. So the answer will always depends on your job role and your interest as well. But our criteria will be based on market demand, market value, and which courses slash exams are related to the evolving technologies. So I will drop CCNP service provider. Look, not much going on here. They still have the same old BGP MPLS related topics in the exam. It's good if you're working in service provider network environment, but again, not much relevant to evolving technologies. I will also drop CCNP collaboration. The evolution of voice and video technologies reached its peak. No one's talking about advanced voice and video technologies anymore. Many people would go for CCNP enterprise. I completely understand because CCNA is more about routing and switching and some wireless. You just want to continue what you learned. That's fine. So the ECS would be Encore, which like a little advanced CCNA, very easy to pass if you really know CCNA topics. It's really not advanced. Even the routing part, very basic BGP and very basic EIGRP topics as well. We'll add implementing Cisco Enterprise Advanced Routing and Services or NRC probably the concentration that is more related to CCNA and Encore. They added a more advanced topic such as MPLS, BGP, DNAC, DMVPN, MPBGP, and IP version 6. Not a big fan of this exam though. Most of these are old and DNAC probably the newest technology here, but I don't think the technology is speaking up. It's part of the SDX solution, and to understand this, you have to know Cisco Eyes. Not a big fan of this combination, but I will put this in the list because it's the easiest exam pair to be a CCNP. Another good exam option is instead of NRC, go for implementing Cisco SD-WAN solutions, or ENSWI. 
though Cisco is not the leading provider in the SD1 market, I would say this is still better option versus NRC. And for me, it's better to learn and focus on the new technologies. Because think about it, if a company you are applying to has already implemented these new technologies like SD-WAN, and regardless of which vendor, of course, you have all of the advantages. You have a better chance of getting hired because you know the concepts, know how to implement and manage SD-WAN devices. In short, more money than NRC. For me, Cisco Certified Network Professional in Data Center is a better track than Enterprise. Now, first, you have to take and pass DC Core exam. It covers various data center technologies, such as UCS, Hyperflex, Intersight, Nexus, 2K, 5K, 7K, 9K. You also have ACI and MDS switches. And I almost forgot, Python Network Automation is also covered. Now, what would be a good exam combination? We have implementing automation for Cisco Data Center Solution, or DCA UI. Sometimes it is also called DC Auto. This is all about programming and automation in Cisco Data Center platforms, such as ACI, UCS, NXOS, and many others. If there are networks that really need automation, these are the massive data center networks. Another advantage of this exam is it may sound or look complicated, but the scope and the topics are lesser than most of the exam. The training course DCA UI is only three days. Not only that, you can also use this exam to be a Cisco DevNet professional when you pass the core. Next. Cisco Certified Network Professional in Security. You can't debate with me, but I believe there are more and more companies are shifting to VPN solutions and moving away from MPLS because broadband is becoming more and more reliable and less and less expensive. Not only that, more and more people are working from home as well. So what is the solution? Of course it's VPN. Cisco it still has the best VPN solution and devices out there. That is why this combination, S-Core plus S-VPN or implementing secure solutions with VPN is one of my top picks. So this exam covers many different types of VPN, including the most popular and advanced VPN solution, FlexVPN. It also focuses on ASA VPN solutions. And uh, of course, you also need to pass a score, which covers many different security technologies, such as ASA, FarPower, WSA, ESA, Umbrella, and VPN running FarPower as well, and many others. Another CCNP security exam combination that you may also want to consider is a score plus securing networks with Cisco FarPower or SNCF exam. Although Cisco is not the leading next-generation firewall solution out there, FAR Power is still based from S-North and Source FAR, the first, the original IDS and IPS solution. Okay, so the IPS functionality of FAR Power, I believe, is still the best out there, and there are still many companies who are using FAR Power solution, and it can do many things, such as IPS, malware protection, application firewall, VPN solutions, and it can be integrated to Cisco Eyes. Security specialization is highly in demand in the market, and companies offers more money. All right, next, going back to CCNP data center, personally, the best Cisco skills that you probably want to invest with is Cisco ACI is the software-defined networking solution of Cisco. Huge companies run this solution in their massive data center environment. It's an evolving technology, and we see the increase of demand for Cisco ACI specialists since around 2018. If you are really good in ACI and understand its concept, 
you can easily understand other vendor SDN technologies too. And you, as a professional, will have a very high market value and will have more money. So, the best track is CCNP security. Of course, it's cyber security, baby. Here's the reason why. Knowing Cisco security technologies allows you to understand both the defensive and a little love offensive side of security. Well, that's already given. But knowing Cisco security technologies can be also versatile. If you want to stay in the enterprise networking, fine. You work on the security side. You can also use Cisco security knowledge with service provider or data center network environments. Now, which one is the best concentration exam combination with S-Core? It's implementing and configuring Cisco Identity Service Engine or SIS. And why is that? Well, ICE is the identity and access management solution from Cisco, and it's the leading network access control solution. Okay, you would only understand SD access and the complete DNAC solution if you're knowledgeable with size. It also used in VPNs, posture assessment, malware detection, and many others. It can also be integrated with other Cisco solutions, such as Firepower, StealthWatch, and other non-Cisco platforms too, such as Checkpoint, Fortigate, and Splunk. It can also run in many different cloud service providers to provide a better access management to various cloud applications. Some of you will say, ah, I will still go for CCNP Enterprise. I know, because again, that's the easiest way. But if you really want to be a successful Cisco network professional, Go for security track or specialize in application-centric infrastructure or ACI. Having a CCNP security, you can easily move from a network engineer to a more security-related role. Just learn more security technologies, such as penetration testing, web security, security management, etc. Comment below if you have any questions, and don't forget to hit the like button.